joining me on my program once again. I appreciate you wherever you are joining me from. I say good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Accept my greeting according to your time zone. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please kindly subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell so that you'll be notified each time I upload a video. You can be among the first to receive it. Then go to the comment section at all time. Leave your comment, drop your contribution. If you have suggestions, make it out there. If you have any criticism, put it down on the comment section. It will make us to get better. Presenting you a better program. Why are they attempting to Thank be you. calm? They are congratulating the man that stole the election. They are telling you to be calm. Don't do anything. And they are busy congratulating the man that stole the election. Calls are coming from all corners. As if they didn't know what has happened. But of course, does it, 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 they don't care about you. They don't give a damn about you. As long as there is an agreement for the resources in the country to continue to flow to them unabated, unmeasured, they don't care. But I tell you, in the coming days, it will be a different ball game. I thank you, Kuku Kaibe, that we are going. We cannot be part of this madness anymore. We have crossed the Rubicon. We can't be part of this. God forbid. God, God forbid. Chukuku Kaibe will take us away from this very madness. Biafran people, I say it once again. Take up your responsibility now. If you are a, except you are not a Biaf a real Biafran, if you are a Biafran, take up a responsibility now. No matter what you believe, no matter who you say you are following, no matter your tribe, no matter your religion, no matter whatever you think you believe in, take up a responsibility to restore your freedom. It is now, not tomorrow. In the same vein, Odutua people must stand up now. They must stand up to prepare themselves for what is coming. Prepare yourself. Every indigenous tribe in that contraption must prepare themselves for what is coming. It's, going, it's not going to be a child's play. It is going to affect everybody. More especially in Biafra land. That is why I am asking you to take up a responsibility in the restoration of Biafra. Because what is about to happen in question of hours is it's going to affect everybody. It doesn't matter whom you are. It doesn't matter whether you support Biafra, you don't support it. What is going to take place in hours, it will affect every single one of you that is watching me. Whether you are one Nigerianist, whether you are whatever you call yourself, it will affect you. That decision will affect you. So the earlier you join the moving train, the better for you. That is the only place that our life is guaranteed and secure. Apart from that, Every other thing you are doing is a sham, propaganda, blackmail, and waste of time. Chikwoku Kabiyama loves the Biafran people. That is why we are still standing up to date. We have faced all manner of situation. There is no situation on the planet Earth that Biafran has not passed through. No amount of enslavement, no amount of dehumanization. Genocide, killing has not happened in Biafra land, and yet we are standing. We have seen it all. The Biafran people have seen it all. That is why we are saying enough is enough. We cannot continue on that path. We cannot keep on handling, handing generation over generation, handing them enslavement, handing them to oppression at all. No, no. We have to hand over a generation. Safety to our unborn children. Same country to our born children. We have to create a nation that we can be proud of. Hit our chairs and say, yes, I am a Biafra. We have to create a nation whereby when you are traveling, you put your passport on top of your pocket. Not at the back pocket. You put your passport where the whole world will see it. When you are speaking to somebody, you wave your passport in his present. That is a country that is, new to be, is about to be born. A country, when they ask you, where are you from, you raise your head and say, I am a Biafran. Then what? A country that will be patriotic to. A country that we will defend with the last drop of our blood. A country we can stand anywhere in the planet and defend it and die for it. 
that is the country we want to establish as for now we are nowhere and no man anywhere no woman anywhere can claim to be, us, to be among us no, no. You, you can't stop us the earlier you begin to accept the reality the better for you and the reality is that Biafra has come to stay the Biafra people must be free in 2023 if you don't believe it that is your opinion but don't stand on the way of those who believe it if you don't believe in Biafra fine but do not stand Stand on the way of those who believe in Biafra who are working tirelessly to actualize Biafra. If you do, if you do, <laughs> prepare to meet the Lord. That you don't believe in Biafra, it is your right not to believe. That you don't want to be part of Biafra, it is your right. But I tell you, standing on the way of those who want their freedom. Is not your right. If you do, prepare to meet the Lord. Every Biafran that is watching me, I will repeat once again. Pick up a responsibility this day. What you are going to do in the actual vision of Biafran that is about to kick off. Pick up a responsibility. What you are going to do. In the actualization of Biafra is about to kick off. Whether you like it or you don't like it, whether you believe it or don't believe it, it is your business. This is something that is bound to happen. The restoration of Biafra, it is something that is about to happen. Whatever you have done in the past, whatever evil you have done in the past, whatever way you have worked against us in the past, whatever you have worked against Biafra in the past, it is all going away. In this dying minute, you can redeem yourself. Redeem yourself. Change. You can change. 360 degrees. Our spokesman, Master Chairman, have said it. At this dying minute, we want to make sure that we sweep everybody along into Biafra. It is your choice to correct your ways. If you choose other ways, let me tell you, Biafra will come. Whether you agree or you don't agree, it will come. It's going to come. Whether you believe it or not, it's going to come. That you join the struggle is for your own benefit. Receive the blessing. If you refuse to be part of that blessing, okay. yes, that's for you. Who gave us the mandate? All we have to do is to respect the word of Chukwu And when he says we move, we move. He says we stop, we stop. That is why I love my spokesperson, Master Simon Eva. Very, very consistent. You can't shake him. When something is not right, you can't push him ahead of time. These are people. Martin Nandekano, our supreme leader, he's a man that works with time. The same thing with Martin Samuel They understand the use of time. And if you are autopiloted, a genuine Biafra, you must understand the use of time. That's why you must have to pay attention to them. When they say go, go. When they say stand, they stand. You are welcome, my beloved brother, Tiger. Thank you for joining. Welcome. Thank you for joining. Thank you. King himself. Yeah. I greet you, sir. Right. <laughs> You're welcome. I, I envy your consistency. You are doing Thank the you, work man. of our our onion too. Thank you. Yes, um uh, it's a pleasure, sir. Uh, thank you for the opportunity given to me. May you both give welcome. Welcome. Um, uh, to bless you. you yes, see? um on a prophet uh sent something and I watched the video. He was talking about the plans that the Biafrans have to build our nation. And uh, that is similar to what, uh, what, uh, what Awanyendu told us before he was uh, kidnapped in Kenya. Yeah. That was 2020. That, that after we finish building the nation of Biafra, that the angel of heaven is going to take permission to come and visit us. It's going to be second to none. And uh, uh, God has given us all it takes. You know, right thinking, human beings. 
right thinking, uh, worthy people, not, not people with money mongers, the genuine real Biafrans that understand the language, not sabots in our midst. That's right. So people like us that have the right spirit, we might not have the necessary knowledge to do wonders, but for the fact that we recognize the truth and follow the truth, we are part of the game. That's right. So um, after this program, I'll go to your inbox and maybe send you my WhatsApp line so that we, I, will, I, will, I will forward you that uh, very prophecy. Okay, sir. Uh, before now, part of before now, a lot of uh, vision has been said concerning this kingdom of God, which is Biafra, in this planet Earth. The man said that kingdom will not even stop Christ coming. But this, con this kingdom must surely come. And we are very, very close to it. Absolutely. But many were blind. Then, Bible did not record the Sabbath to us in the midst of children of Israel. But I know that whenever you are doing something that is credible, something that will yield uh, positivity, many people will come and make a jest of you. They will call you names. Our leader says that uh, genuine freedom fighters were are giving names terrorists. So, but at the end of the day, you ask yourself a question. This man is fighting for his own freedom. Leave me, let me go. It's not because he hates you or whatever. He just wants to be on his own. Is that what makes that person say a terrorist? The answer is no. It's those that, that want you to be together by force, by fire, by force are the real terrorists. And we see what is happening. Well, today I laugh in, uh, <laughs> in Biafra language because of what transpired. Just like uh, uh, his, uh, uh, the Honorable Man, Simon Epa says, that um, he wants to thank those who disobey the sit at home order. At least they went away and voted. And they now saw the outcome of it. That he has to forgive them. I told my friend, my brother, younger brother, the other time, you know, I told you that he said, uh, Samuel is a terrorist, I should stop posting uh, this thing. I said, well, but just last night, I said, my brother, I need to see you one-on-one, -on -one because if I want to engage you on talk on this very matter, all the air time I use my do my little business will exhaust. But it is good if it happened this way. And the Lord had in a lot of people's mind so that they will test the truth. Exactly. Many have repented, but still, some are still wallowing in the, in the wilderness. Uh, so, thank you, my brother. Thank you. I salute the Biafra. All hail Biafra. All hail Biafra. You know, the club gradually, gradually, we are moving forward. All hail Biafra. I salute you. Yeah. Thank you, my beloved brother. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Seeing you is a thing of joy. Seeing you is a thing of joy so that people will know that we are not alone. Yes. We are not alone. Yes. We are moving forward. We are moving forward. Just as I was preaching and what I wrote on my topic there, that every Biafran has to pick up a responsibility. If you are a genuine Biafran, don't tell me there's nothing you can do. There is something every single one of us can do. We have to take up that challenge. That you are sharing the program that we are doing, that you are communicating with people around you, telling them what is happening because so many people are not getting the information. Some people just believe what some of people just, they don't believe what their friend told them. Some are just pulling some certain way because of their brother, their friend, their benefactor, or whatever they intend to gain. It is our duty mm -hmm. to pass the real message to them and let them know the fact. And Chukwu Kagara loves us so much, he loves us so much that. He by himself have made so many revelations. Just like what you are saying. That our spokesperson said he thanked those who disobeyed to go and vote. Because, mm -hmm. and he thanked the ESL, the formidable army. They never came out to stop anybody. 
because they would have used that one as a, a yastic to say, oh, we did this and we did that. But they saw that Biafra land was even the calmest side, the most peaceful side throughout the whole election. Mm -hmm. And after casting that, which they called an election, after doing all those drama, what happened? <laughs> they saw it clearly. All great citizens who have been telling them, you tell them that nobody is going to come after you. The West don't care about you. And they call it a bluff. Today, the same West that sent people to come and monitor the election, and they saw that it was fraudulent. They, they confirmed it. They are busy. Even after that convention, they are busy today congratulating Tunubu. United States mm. have congratulated him. Congratulated him. Ghana have congratulated him. UK. Yeah, they yeah, are yeah. sending congratulatory messages to, to tell you that these people don't care about you. They don't care. No. They don't care about you. It is you and I that will change the status quo. If you don't change it, nobody can change it for you. Never. The British, the West, their own duty is to make sure they maintain that status quo, to make sure that the resources of the country, which is from the Biafra land, continue to flow to them unmeasured. Because you see, assuming if it were the Northerners that own the resources, they will be stingy with it. They won't allow people to share it now. But they are using that resources in Biafra land as a bet for the war. They keep it open. Take as much as you can, as long as you allow us to be in power and take over the land. They're using that resources. And the West don't care about you. They only they want to play, play along with those who are willing to open the gate for them to steal as much as possible. I played a video where somebody from British was confessing what they did, what they did before the, 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 the before the independence. How they conduct a fraudulent election to make sure that the North takes over. And I wonder, sometimes I see like these people who are on the social media today crying. You see the celebrities and all the crying. Ah, the election was rigged. And I'll be asking myself, does it mean that this would be a born here today? Everything that transpired in this very election are the things that you and I know that have been happening from origin. There is nothing different. There is no template different from what you have been seeing. Rigging has been there all this while. Snatching of ballot has been there all this while. Writing of results have been there all this while. Every single thing you saw today is the template we know that they will they will continue to play. to complain. Election was rigged. This one, this and that. That the London boy, his duty was just to use to come and drag Biafra into that election and use us to legitimate They thought it was a joke. But I thank you, Gabriel, today we are vindicated. We have been vindicated. And it can never be business as usual anymore. Every Biafra, wherever you are, be proud of yourself. Thank you, Gabriel, who made you what you are. Thank you, Gabriel, who kept you. Thank you, who have made it possible that you'll be part of this very restoration of Biafra. If, if you have the grace to be alive up to this very moment, you have every reason to thank you, If you have the grace to see 2023, you should be happy and thank you, Key in, prepare yourself for what is coming. We are going to overcome. I am appreciate every one of you that is watching wherever you are watching from if you are watching from biafra land my special task to go to you my beloved brother tiger that have joined me i thank you so much for your contributions thank you so much i think the, the network kicked you out but i'm ending the program now i appreciate you so much my brother anytime i come in feel free to join me on the platform i appreciate you for your contribution i appreciate you for every single thing you have been doing and you are yet to do and as we are moving forward, I pray that Chukwoku Kabyam will grant you divine protection wherever you are. Every Biafran all over the world, every Biafran in Biafra land, whichever part of the world you are, Asia, Europe, America, Africa, New Zealand, Canada, Russia, you are going to be protected divinely. May Chukwoku Kabyam protect the Biafran people, protect the Yoruba people, protect the Middle Beltans, protect the Ariwas too, they care. 
Chukwuku Kabiyama, continue to protect our media warriors and the Omadas. May Chukwuku Kabiyama continue to guard and protect our spokesperson, Master Simon Eber. Continue to build a wall of fire around him. No attacks, spiritual and physical, will penetrate him. May Chukwuku Kabiyama continue to guard and protect our supreme leader, Master Nandekan. Keep him for us until that time that we're going to meet very, very soon. I appreciate every one of you who have connected. Thank you so much for joining. And I will see you again tomorrow by the special grace of Chuku Kadam. Thank you and stay safe. Bye bye.